pressing out some bearings. Talking about my sweet shades. Mm. Check out the shades. Show, show them the shades. Wicked. Hello, where are you? I'm the adrenaline junkie. army glasses with extra side protection. Like shock glasses. Yeah, they're for war. <laughs> they're for war. They're for war. They're it's shock for, glasses. It's it's for glasses. far safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Would you say? So uh, we're pressing out the bearings. Uh, if you don't have a bearing press at home, you can use an air hammer, right? Brian says sometimes an air hammer will work. Sometimes a regular hammer will yeah. work on an anvil or something, but usually not. Um, we tried the hammer, it wouldn't go. So if you don't have a press like this, you can probably just go to any local shop and they'll do it for like 20 bucks or something. Yes. Before you go to press these, make sure you've removed the snap rings that retain the bearing in the spindles. So if you have a press or a press at your disposal, then we're assuming you know the basics on how to use it. So you're gonna wanna stack up some old bearings or spacers to press around the outer race of this bearing to press it out with. A lot of weight. Okay, you see the first one? Wow. This was the first press tool we used. It is no longer functional as a bearing. <laughs> or a press tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's the old bearing, out with the old. Here's the bearing tool. You now want to clean the spindle and inspect it to make sure there's no damage. So we're going to get a replacement bearing. Oh, there's a sticker! This press is now certified for all balls racing components <laughs> after passing his rigorous testing. <laughs> When pressing the new bearing in, you're going to want to make sure that everything is lined up nice and straight, and when you start the bearing, it starts going in straight. You also want to make sure that you're applying pressure only to the outer race of the bearing. When doing these, I often tend to use an old wheel bearing to press the new one in, and I find that even if it gets a little stuck in there, it's really easy to ha smack it out with a hammer and a chisel later on the bench. It usually does a real nice job sinking that right in there until it bottoms out, and I've never had an issue hammering them out. On a double uh, roller wheel bearing like that, the axle actually pinches the inners together and yep. it, it removes that play. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You need the tension to keep the bearing together. Oh. That's why you have to leave the inner piece of the axle in. Even if you break uh, oh, an axle, you yeah. can't just pull it all out or the bearing the collapses. Fall. Yeah. Okay. So if yeah, you, you hit this inner with a punch, yeah. you pop that inner out first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you break your uh, inner joint on your CV, you have to break the outer. Or carry a spare one. Whole axle. Yeah, but you do want to do leave the shaft. Yeah, it usually right. breaks off the, uh, the wheel, right? Really, so you yeah. just take the, the, yeah. the, the, the remaining piece and yank it out and keep going. That's going in easier. Perfect. We will be changing bearings within six months anyways. Every season. <laughs> you get a whole season? Yeah, this is the first time I've done it, 1,500 k, wow. 1,500 miles, 20, 20, like 500 k. See how the all balls hold up here. I usually smear some grease on there to just protect them. A little extra. So that's it. Doing the bearings in a razor is usually a piece of cake. I just like to put a bunch of grease on the front and the back of these when I reassemble them, just to keep the crud out from in there, and maybe extend the life of the bearing just a little bit. If you enjoy our videos, then please subscribe to our channel, and hit that like button. Okay, those are all together. Fresh new bearings. Oh.
Nice. Those are very integral to the operation of the wheelbarrow. A lot of guys have actually uh, switched to a big, flat, thick flat washer. Three yeah, a lot of the washer. axle companies are sending a flat washer. Are they? Yeah. We got all our parts from uh, Royal Distributing and Super ATV sitting on the bench ready to go on. We're going to slap those awesome heavy duty parts on and we're going to show you how we do it. So check out all the build videos. We're going to be uploading videos of basically all the components we install. You guys can follow along throughout the season and see how they do on the trail. You'll be able to see how these products perform in the real world as we use them. So stay tuned for the videos. This episode proudly supported by Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader.